Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with what's happening here on this channel. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much for tuning in today. So today we're going to talk about the D word, discipline. We need discipline to be successful. So a couple of weeks ago, I believe we talked about the importance of persisting or pressing forward in the things um, that God has led us to do. In order for us to persist or to be you know, strong or to finish strong in anything that we do, we have to first have discipline. And so for many of us, we don't like to hear the word discipline. It's a dreaded word. It just, it makes us cringe a lot of the times because it, it, it puts us in the mindset that we have to give something up or that we have to let something go, we have to change it, we have to do something different, and yes, we actually do. The upside, though, is that you gain the reward, as I talked about in that video about being persistent. You gain the reward on the other side of being persistent. Um, discipline is the difference between starting and finishing, it's the difference between losing and gaining, it's the difference between, you know, us shrinking and us growing. So in order for us to, you know, be, be able to press forward and be successful, like I said, we have to practice discipline. So let me read a scripture for you. This is Proverbs 25 and 28. This is in the New Living Translation. It says, a person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls. What does that mean? Self-control, um, in, in, in my thoughts, so my thinking is the same as being disciplined. And guess what? The, the Spirit of God, the fruit of the Spirit, one of the fruit of the Spirit is self-control. So the Spirit of God in you gives you discipline to be able to accomplish whatever it is that you need to do. The discipline, like I said previously, to be able to get that, you know, workout in, to be able to press forward on your plans and, you know, those sorts of things. But we have to have discipline. And so most of the time people say things like, oh, I've never been really good with that. I'm just not a disciplined person. I've been this way all my life and yada, 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 so forth and so on. But the truth, like I said, is that the Spirit of God living in you has given you self-discipline or self-control. So we already have it in us, we just have to activate it, we have to have the faith for it. And sometimes we have to rely on God to give us that extra push that we need so that we can press forward in discipline. So in anything that we do, as I said, it's gonna be the difference between you gaining something or losing something. So if you, you, you know, are a muscle, you know, builder or whatever, then you know, it's, we, we love, you, you love to get them gains. You got to get those gains. You don't want to lose, but it takes discipline over the long haul to be able to build that muscle. And you can use that in any aspect of your life. Everything takes muscle. If you're going to get up and be consistent with your praying, with your reading, with your studying, you know, just being a Christian in general, a lot of times uh, requires great discipline. We have to have faith in situations where, you know, maybe all it, things look hopeless to us. Or all, we feel like all hope is gone in certain situations. In those times, it's the discipline of faith that keeps us pressing forward. And in life, if you want to lose inches, if you want to lose some pounds, whatever it is, it's going to take discipline. And one of the ways that I find it's so easy to um, activate your discipline is just by checking your appetite. So for me, this one was super, super big. If you can get your appetite under control, you, you can you can conquer the world. <laughs> if you can tell yourself no to not, you know, don't get that next scoop of ice cream, the next cookie, you know, whatever your thing is, when you begin to tell your flesh no, you are well on your way to being a super self-controlled and disciplined person. And so maybe that's where you need to start this week. You need to challenge yourself to not eat a certain thing, to not um, uh, indulge in a certain thing, whatever it may be. That's the beginning of self-control and discipline. So I wanna encourage you this week to talk about that word we don't like to hear, discipline. Get it into your mind, turn it over in your spirit. Google the word discipline in terms of scriptures. Look up in your Bible, in your Bible app, you should be able to just put in, um, in the search bar, just type in the word discipline and you'll see so many scriptures about discipline. And when you read it, it's not always written from the context of, you know, us getting in trouble with God, that sort of thing. But read between those lines, read, read between the lines, read between what you're hearing and sometimes just replace that with self-control, replace that with the tenacity or um, as I said, the discipline that we need to be able to press forward because that's really what it is. Self-control is self-discipline. And so I'm gonna encourage you this week to just stand 
strong in your discipline, press forward in it, cultivate it, and I promise you, you will get great benefits on the other side of just being disciplined. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.